This month, we celebrate 50 years of God's faithfulness to Killian Hill Baptist Church. While we are grateful for the faithful service of so many, we recognize that all glory goes to the Lord for His great faithfulness to this body of believers. God has been pleased to grow Killian Hill Baptist Church from a small home Bible study to an active campus of 27 acres and several hundred members. In that time, God has also expanded our reach around the globe to Mexico, Peru, Haiti, South Africa, Uzbekistan, Ghana, and countless places in between. The story of Killian Hill Baptist Church is the work of God, demonstrating both the power of His Word and of His Spirit. Killian Hill Baptist Church came from humble roots. In 1969, 12 people felt impressed of God to start a Bible-believing church. A drugstore building was acquired rent-free, and 34 members met to establish Killian Hill Baptist Church. Rev. Al Clifford Wells was called as pastor, and by God's grace, over 100 people in the community were saved and baptized that first year. As the church prepared to formally organize and adopt a constitution, a name was needed. Charter member Phil Saylor suggested the name Killian Hill. From 1972 to 1974, Reverend John Kent served the 70 members of Killian Hill Baptist Church. Following his two-year pastorate, Dr. Bob Wood was called to be the pastor. Dr. Wood had been active in the original home Bible study, was a charter member, and knew the people and area well. One of the most significant events to take place during this time was the formation of Killian Hill Christian School in January of 1976. A kindergarten for preschool children had been started by Mrs. Brenda Sailors and Mrs. Janelle Schaefer. The next step was to expand with first through third grades, adding one grade per year. It was during this time that David Purvis became the principal of the school, serving until May of 1985. No one could have possibly envisioned how God would grow KHCS into a nationally recognized educational institution. Dr. Bob Wood resigned as the pastor of Killian Hill Baptist Church in May of 1977, eventually moving to serve as the vice president of Bob Jones University. In December of 1978, the congregation extended a pastoral call to Mike Riley, who was joined by his wife Betty and their two-and-a-half-year-old son Jonathan. It was under Pastor Riley's ministry that the church truly thrived. Mike Riley had a heart for preaching and a heart for the lost. He led KHBC to be an aggressively missions-minded ministry. Much of this can be traced back to a providential call with a missionary named Nancy Ball who explained to Pastor Riley that a missionary from Ghana, West Africa was speaking at a fundamentalist congress at Bob Jones University and was stranded. John Cross agreed to drive him from Greenville to the Riley's home, and thus his lifelong friendship with Pastor Abraham Nakom began, as was Killian Hill's deep involvement in missions in the country of Ghana. Killian Hill's outreach ministry grew locally as well as internationally under Pastor Riley's watch. Guy Watkins, a member of the pulpit committee for Pastor Riley, made an inquiry concerning his thoughts on inheriting a Christian school along with the church. Pastor Riley's desire was to build an institution that faithfully and carefully taught God's Word. He prayed to accomplish one goal, just the will of God, one day at a time. In 1980, the congregation voted to have Thomas Schaefer construct what is now Building B, enabling Killian Hill Christian School to continue through the 12th grade. The continued growth of the school necessitated the construction of a multi-purpose building, which would include a gymnasium that would be transformed into a sanctuary on Sundays. Larry Palmer added his expertise as facilities manager, and Bob Spare and later Jeff Harrison gave meticulous oversight to the ministry's finances. It was during these years that the school ministry expanded to over 550 students under the leadership of Frank Kennedy, Tim Luther, and then Paul Williams, who served faithfully for 27 years. In 2005, the most recent building project on the Hill began. It was a 10,000 square foot church auditorium with offices, nurseries, classrooms, and fellowship area. Through the sacrificial work and giving of church members, what is now known as Building A was completed. After 33 faithful years as the lead pastor of Killian Hill Baptist Church, Pastor Riley resigned on September 18, 2011, entrusting his major life work to the Lord. 
I'm so grateful for Pastor Mike Riley and his 33 years of ministry here at Killian Hill. Mike is one of the most consistent and steady leaders that I've ever known. Killian Hill Baptist Church is as strong as it is, I think, in large part because of his faithful feeding of the flock, uh, his biblical preaching for over three decades here. Uh, we are very fortunate and we thank the Lord for Mike and Betty Riley. After two years of praying, researching, and vetting candidates, Killian Hill Baptist Church extended a call to Chris Anderson and his ministry began on January 1st, 2013, aided by his wife Lori and their four lovely daughters. For the past seven years, the Lord has shown His grace through Pastor Anderson's leadership, vision, and faithful exposition of the Word of God. He is surrounded by a pastoral team who shares his heart for the church, the Word, and the lost. These men have continued to invest and serve alongside the members of the church as Killian Hill Baptist Church extends its reach in foreign missions, local outreach, Sunday school and adult Bible fellowships, Awana clubs, soccer camps, men's and women's Bible studies, prayer meetings, and our Christian school. Our pastors faithfully carry out their mission of equipping the congregation for every member ministry. Psalm 115.1 expresses an appropriate jealousy for God's glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Every gospel preaching church belongs to Jesus Christ, not a man, a board, even a membership. Jesus bought the church with his blood, so he owns it. But he entrusts it to his people, to pastors, to deacons and trustees, to members. And he calls on us with the enablement of the Spirit to be stewards of his flock, to shepherd it, to teach it, to manage it, God willing to grow it. For over 50 years now, God has been building Killian Hill Baptist Church. And by God's grace, each generation has been faithful to the Lord and devoted to his word. We're not a perfect church, but we are firmly rooted to the authoritative, inerrant, and sufficient word of God. This generation of leaders and members on the Hill stands on the shoulders of previous generations. Whatever we are able to accomplish for the kingdom, is possible because of those who have gone before us, preaching and teaching the word, leading and teaching in the school, discipling new believers, and giving generously. So generously that Killian Hill Baptist Church reaches this 50th anniversary milestone entirely debt-free as of a couple weeks ago. We're deeply grateful for the service and sacrifice of previous members. Let's lean into another 50 years of gospel ministry together all by God's grace, and all for God's glory. May Killian Hill Baptist Church continue to be a city set on a hill, preaching the word, welcoming the lost, and earnestly praying for God's power and glory to be displayed. Great is His faithfulness.